Hello, I'm Matthew Oakley, welcome back, and today we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the Optex WX series. I'm going to take you through the sensor, the features and the applications, then we're going to head outside to Barry Clark and we'll take a look at installing one with you. We're the first manufacturer to produce a 180 degree PIR that can be low mounted or high mounted to 2 meters. To start, the WX series is a 180 degree 12 meter two zone external detector which can be independently adjusted to left and right zones depending on what you are protecting. These are available in wired or wire free options and they can be learnt onto any control panel. So, allow the WX series to be part of your setup and reduce nuisance alarms. With built in sensing analytics, SMDA logic the sensor can recognise what has been detected and distinguish between genuine intrusions and things that might normally cause a nuisance alarm. Things like swaying vegetation and the change in weather conditions. The WX series will also not trigger with small pets or animals. Now let's join Mr Clark outside to show you the ease of installation and setup. Over to you Barry. And here we have our application. So we're protecting the fire door the interleading door and the factory door for dispatch. What I've done is I've strategically placed the 180 degree detector here to do this full area here and to come out plus minus 12 meters. What we first do is we measure 0.8 to 1.2 which is our reference height. So we take our tape measure, make sure that's the correct height and our reference point inside the detector is two little arrows. Let me show you how to connect it. The product consists of three parts. The cover, the PC board, and the backing plate. So first of all, because this is a wireless model, we've got our transmitter. This all you simply do, you purchase from your favorite panel manufacturer and just connect it accordingly. Drill and mount the backing plate. As you can see, this is a little spirit level so that we can see the detector is straight. Now the PC board has been inserted, we're now ready for our cover. But before cutting our cover, let's do a couple of adjustments. On the left hand side and the right hand side here, you can see that we have four pyros. These need to be adjusted to the size of what you're trying to protect. So on the left hand side over here, you can see I need 12 meters, so I'm not going to touch that side at all. But on the right hand side here, you can see I only need a complement of about 2 to 3 meters. So all I simply do is I take the pyro sensor here and I put it to the demarcated area of 3 meters. I then look at my sensitivity, low, medium and high. Bearing in mind it's independent to the left and independent to the right. I put it on a medium because we have a medium uh, environment here. And that should detect a setup. All I simply do now is put on my cover and I'm now ready for my walk test. Perform a walk test in your area, make sure that it's picking you up 100% and then you're ready to commission. And at the end of the three minutes, you will see it will start at exiting walk test mode. This is seen by the LED flashing rapidly. The walk test node is now complete. And what it does from there, it looks at the dip switch settings and whatever the parameters are set, it implements that from that moving forward.
And there we go, very simple installation of the WXI and back to Mr. Oki. Thank you very much, Mr. Clark. Just goes to show how easy these are to set up and install. Thank you. And remember the message we're consistently giving you. Protect from the outside in, not the inside out. That's the message. Okay, well we look forward to seeing you soon. Anything you need, just drop us a line. Thank you.